Dallas, Texas. Please give a warm up for us. You're welcome to Joaquin Zuatanejo. This is a suit. Specific litigation representing we, the Chicano Nation, we, La Raza, we, the descendants of Joaquin Murrieta, and we bring this suit in his name. In 1851, when the American Western movement was sweeping over this land like a bad wave engulfing all, one Sonoran miner resisted, a man named Joaquin Murrieta. The Americans burned his house down, stole his gold mine, murdered his children, raped and murdered his wife in front of him, beat him with whips, and then let him live to tell of what would happen to those that resisted. Joaquin Murrieta crawled away that day, got a gun and a horse, and became the leader of a band of revolutionaries that raided American settlements from California to Nuevo Mexico, stealing money, food, clothing, all he could because he figured they owed him, which they did. He gave all that he stole to the struggling campesinos of the region. They called him the Robin Hood of El Dorado. But the Americans called him El Bandito Terrible. For seven years, he rode in the name of freedom in the name of family, in the name of all that is right. Few knew his last name. The campesinos hid him from danger. He became a myth, a legend, a ghost. Americans loved to play the odds, so they rounded up all men in the region whose first name was Joaquin and they slaughtered them. Countless men died, hands tied to firing posts, lips sealed as bullets pierced flesh. Refusing to say they were not Joaquin. The Spanish word for this, unidad. Unity. Eventually, a lynch mob caught up with Joaquin near Stockton, shot him in the back like the cowards they were. Though he was shot dead, they hung his body from a tree for two days as a sign of victory. So, I guess it's not just the brothers and sisters in this room who should be pissed off by the fact that we still have a town in Texas named Lynchburg. They decapitated the corpse and impaled the head and torso on two wooden stakes for all to see. Hidden by the cloak of darkness, the campesinos climbed up and pulled down the head and body of Joaquin, took it to a secret place for proper burial. To this day, no one knows for certain exactly where he's buried. Don't you see? This is why it is sacred. Not because it is my name, but because it was his. My grandfather named me Joaquin as a reminder that there are things in this life worth fighting for, that there are things in this life worth living for, that there are things in this life worth dying for. This is a suit. Specific litigation representing we, the Chicano Nation, we, La Raza, we, the descendants of Joaquin Murrieta, and we bring this suit in his name. <laughs> 